Well, welcome to Fortnite 2024 lag fix. So, this was how Fortnite was working before on my PC. As you can see, do you want to take your Fortnite from working like this to this? Well, I am Low End Gaming and welcome to a brand new video. After making a bunch of videos on Fortnite, I am back with another video and bunch of new tweaks. Just make sure to watch this video till the end. So, as you have seen the results, let's see the process and get started without wasting any time. Now, let's optimize our system for the best performance and FPS. Go to the description of this video and download my optimization pack. Extract the zip file and open it. First open the timer resolution folder, extract the zip file. Now, right click on the exe file and go to properties. Under the compatibility tab, tick run this program as an administrator. Also, tick the run this program in compatibility mode for Windows Vista. Apply and click on OK. Now, open the software and click on maximum and minimize the app and play your game. Don't close the software, timer resolution should be running in the background. Trust me this software will do wonders. Now, open the Memreduct folder. Open the setup and install the software. Right click on the software icon and go to properties. Under the compatibility tab, tick run this program as an administrator. Now, open the software and go to settings. Now, under the general tab, tick always on top and launch on system startup. Go to memory cleaning tab, here untick the last three options. Under memory management, tick clean when above and set it to 90. And also tick every minute and set it to 30. And we are done. Close the app. This software will clean your RAM automatically. You don't need to do anything. Just sit back and play your game. Now, open the process lasso tool folder. This is the best software to maximize your CPU's performance. Install it and now open it. Go to main and click on performance mode enabled. Now, make sure that your game is running in the background. Under active processes find your game process and right click on it. Set priority always to high. Set affinity always and select all the CPUs. Set the IO priority to always high. Application power profile to bit some highest performance. Click on induced performance mode. Go to more and click on disable idle saver. And we are done. To make sure that this settings apply every time you play the game, make sure process lasso tool is working in the background. Again go to the extracted folder and open the MSI utility folder. Open the software as an administrator. Find your GPU, tick the MSI checkbox and set its interrupt priority to high. Done. Close the app. It's really important to optimize your PC, so that you can easily play games on your PC, with high FPS. Well, if you have a very slow PC, and want to optimize it really quickly and easily, then I have pretty quick solution for it. Watch these two videos from my channel, and hear me out if after these two videos your PC performance does not improve you can just simply unsubscribe to my channel. Again, go down in the description below and download the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Open it. And first before doing any changes, export the current profile for a backup. So, that if anything bad happens then you can import back the previous profile settings. Now, follow me. Under the sync and refresh tab. Note, if you don't use G-Sync then only do this settings. Change the application mode to off. Application requested state to force off. Application state to force off. Turn off global feature and global mode. Set the maximum pre-rendered frames to 1 and preferred refresh rate to highest available. Vertical sync to force off. Under anti-aliasing section, FXAA enable to off, predefined by NVIDIA to disallowed. Go to the texture filtering section. Optimization to on. Sample optimization to on. Mode to user defined off. Prevent anisotropic filtering on. Set the quality to high performance. And try linear optimization to on. Under the common section, disable ambient occlusion and turn off the setting. 
force P2 state to off, mixed GPU acceleration to single display performance mode, and change the power management mode to prefer maximum performance. Now, turn off both the ray tracing settings. Scroll down and find memory allocation policy and set it to moderate pre-allocation. And finally set the NVIDIA quality upscaling to on. We are done with all the changes, click on apply and restart your PC so that all the changes take place. Well, coming to the most important step of this video, the in-game settings. Open the game and go to video settings. Change the display mode to full screen, resolution of your choice and turn off vertical sync. Set the FPS limit to unlimited and change the rendering mode to performance mode. Now scroll down and change the quality preset to low. Turn off all other settings. Well, under the 3D resolution. Set it to 50%, but in case if you want better quality then you can set it to 100%. It's up to you. Scroll down and turn off all the other quality settings. Now, restart your game to make sure that all the settings are applied. Go to the search bar and search for percentage local app data percentage. Open it and go to Fortnite game folder. Saved. Config. Windows client. Right click on the game user settings file and click on edit. Well, we are not going to edit this config file. Just scroll down and make sure all the settings under the scalability groups are set to zero. If not then make sure to do it. Now, open your game and this how it works. I hope you got a good FPS boost and your lag was fixed. But wait we are not done yet. What if I tell you, we can squeeze more performance and get more FPS? You have to open the NVIDIA Profile Inspector once again. In the drop-down list, select Fortnite. Now, scroll down and change the anti-aliasing transparency supersampling to AA mode replay mode all. Then turn of texture filtering driver controlled LOD bias to off and negative bias to allow. Now change the LOD bias according to your preference. Keep in mind higher the value, lower the game quality and more FPS. Well, now it's your choice to choose. I will go with the highest value that is plus 3, which is the lowest quality, but more FPS. After doing the changes, apply it and open your game. Now, this is how the game looks like and works like. It is working on the lowest quality and working smooth as butter giving above 60 frames per second. 